Hi guys, Danny here, and welcome to my video on the new Thumbcraft research. Now, I did go over the research in my Thumbcraft uh, review video, and I think, no, I'm definitely sure that I also go over it in quite a bit of detail. No, not too much detail, actually. Huh, it's been a while since I filmed that, so I'm kind of hazy on that. About the research, I do like one research, maybe two. But I decided to make a full video where I show all the tips and tricks that I've uncovered so far with all the research because even in my last video that I'm going to put up in a day or two, uh, I don't go over everything. So here we go. Okay, I've unlocked quite a few things. Um, if you haven't watched my vi video for the Thumbcraft review, please do so before uh, watching this. It will help. Uh, you know, a tiny bit, I guess. Now, this whole video, I'm just going to be doing a research. So, uh, if you don't want to see me do that, please uh, click away now. Um, so, here we go. Now, as you know, uh, to unlock a research now, uh, you don't have to waste research points. You can just click on the Thumbonomicon if you have the, um, if you just have a scribing tools and paper in your inventory. And as you can see, I've un unlocked quite a few, but there's something else as well. When you're on, when you're scanning certain things, there's a small chance that you'll unlock clues for research. For example, uh, just until like 10 minutes ago, I only had this much unlocked, but then I uh, was scanning some machines and I unlocked the master node tapping. Now, if I remember, master note tapping is like, you know, one of the most difficult things to get. So, I might do that. I have to think for a second. Maybe I should get a deconstruction table. I just have to find something that's not too difficult or too simple. So, I can show you guys how to, um, you know, actually make the items. Okay. What do I need mostly? Artifice. Okay, I'll do the Sword of the Zephyr. Just like that. Now, you guys should know that already. Put the thing in. And that thing. Now, uh, the research notes for the Sword of the Zephyr here. Uh, as you can see, the, these are the hexagons. Oh, the hex, as he calls it. Now, you have to connect these three things. But uh, another thing that I didn't mention was you can try again. So let me get another piece of paper. Because if you see here, uh, from that to that isn't connected directly, as in I have to go there, and there, around there. So if I had one there, I could just go to one, two. It's exactly the same, but my point is, if you get um, hexagons that, you know, are in awkward places. For example, uh, a couple of researches ago, uh, I had three things like this, but the hexagons here were all missing, so it was all like here was missing. So the trick is, um, let's see, just take the research away, because if it's in your inventory, you can't get another one. Uh, let me just get the scribing tools again, and just like that. Now let's see if this is any better. It is not. As you can see, I can't connect uh, the sword, the weapon one directly to this one but these ones have actually opened up so from the sword thing to potentia to air now I actually like this one better it doesn't matter which from which to which you go so I can go from here to there there to there or there to there to there and yeah so like I said I already went over some of the things in the um, in my Let's Play video that I'm going to put up in a couple of days. But again, this is going to be a bit more detailed. So yeah, it's all I'm going to be doing this episode. So as you can see, uh, we have three things here. Uh, that's a primal aspect that has uh, Ordo and Fire. So we have to find other ways to link this. Okay. And we also have Tellum, which is weapon. And I don't know how many of the tool things I have. I have none of them. We can see that 
it has ordo so if we wanted we could connect that to the uh, potentia using the ordo uh, a really really big tip that I have to mention is to use the metallum as a filler I'll explain what that means uh, okay I think I'm going to do just that now because I've unlocked one of the necessary things I think it's research mastery if I control click on an aspect I can create it directly now for some reason this only works some of the times let's see if it works okay it doesn't do I not have enough humanus no I have humanus one two so there you go that's that so what I'm going to do is grab the instrumentum put it there uh, occasionally uh, you will need to create extra links so if I was going from here to there sometimes I can't just go this sometimes I have to like spin around because um, you know I don't have the aspects right beside each other so let me see so the next one was instrumentum and ordo there you go now I've noticed that when you have these crystals up uh, you get these little sparkly things on top of the aspects that means even if you run out well, you can't run out, that's basically the thing, unless you combine them. If you're using them to, you know, drag and put in the hexagons, you won't run out. If you combine them to make aspects, you will run out. Sort of the Zephyr, okay, here we go. And so what I need is the Ordo. And we can see that the Potentia does have Ordo, but there's still a while away. So what I'm going to do is use the Metallum, like I said. Now... Every single time I play with Thumbcraft, I always have a load of Metallum left. So I can waste this and I can do so without worry. Now I have Metallum and now I can't put back Metallum again. Because you can only put uh, you can only put aspects that make up that. So make up Metallum. Or aspects that use me Metallum as one of its combining aspects. So what I'm going to use with Metallum is the other one that I have plenty of. Saxum. Just like that. Now I can go from Saxum back to Metallum, like that. And finally, Metallum and Potentia has one thing in common, so Ordo. And we can see that it's all combined. Uh, I like to use the Metallum and the Saxum as the filler in any way I can possibly find. So it usually involves going to the Earth one, Terra I think it's called, or Ordo in some way, and I can just do this. Now, another thing that I noticed, you don't have to combine uh, Potentia to the air directly, as in you don't, ha you don't have to create an alternative path. I thought you did, but I, cr but I did a research just before this, and I found out you don't have to. So what I can do is go from that Ordo to the air there. So how will I do that? Now, I need to find something that has both Ordo and air. And there we go. Now, I know that has only air, but I'm pretty sure that the movement aspect, if I can find it, has Ordo. As you can see, I also have some extra ones from different Thumbcraft add-ons. Okay, it's actually just one extra add-on. It's from the um, Hidden no, Forbidden Magic add-on. It's quite good. You can see that it adds a couple of things. Uh, I like using them as fillers as well because there aren't many research used for that. So, let's see. Where is my movement thing? There we go. Perfect. I have both the Ordo and the Air. So control click. Oh, for some reason I still can't do that even though I unlocked it. So combine some Ordo with Air. Just like that. There is a chance that you won't be using up the Ordo or the Air uh, when you combine them. Small chance. Okay, so let's see. I could go that. So I'm going to put down Motus. Um, now, because I unlocked him, I unlocked one of the, um, I think it's from Advanced Ma Research Mastery. Uh, when I click on an aspect, uh, because I accidentally misplaced it, I can, you know, there's a 50% chance I'll get it back. So if I click this, I might go back to three, and I do. So that's good. So I made a mistake. It wasn't on purpose because I actually wanted to use Metallum again, like that. And from Metallum, you know, the usual now, so I go to the rock aspect again, Saxum, and then back to Metallum. Like I said, I always use this as a filler. And, okay, so you can see now I can't go from Metallum to Air. 
So what I need to do is use ordo like that. And now I know exactly what has both ordo and uh, the other thing. So I have to put down this guy. Whoops. Okay, I think I made a slight mistake, but it's fine. I can just click on that ordo. Okay, I'm out of uh, ink. Perfect, just one left. Um, as you can see, sometimes it's quite easy to click the wrong one. Um, sometimes I try to put out the IRA, but I get Machina instead. That has happened a couple of times. So now I have the order here, but I've made a mistake because I actually need Motus. So what I can just do is click on the order. I didn't get that order back, sadly. Put the order here. And then I can get the movement one again, if I can find it. Here we go. And there you go. I unlocked Sword of the Zephyr. Now I can just throw the other one away. Oops. Like that. So it's just that simple. And I might do a really difficult one just to show you guys. Now I don't know if I should do Master Node Tapping. Maybe Node Modifier. No, I, I want to do something that I'll actually use. Deconstruction table. I don't know if that's going to be very useful. Okay, I am going to do the decanting because I think the uh, column that gets the uh, the aspects out of the alembic is there. Oops, I showed you guys my uh, room. I shouldn't. Okay, there we go. Now, as you can see, this is what I was talking about. There's a big block of uh, missing hexagons here, so I can't go from there to there to there to there to there to there to there. I have to go this way and this way. Alternatively, I could do this way and this way, uh, but sometimes it does make a difference. For example, uh, Iter is Motus plus Earth. Now, I know exactly what uses both, uh, both of the Earth and the water, and that is Victus. So it's perfect. Okay, and Permutatio uses water. I could do that too. Okay, that's another alternative. No, I think I'm going to go from water to Permutatio. And from Permutatio, which has Motus and water. Perfect, they both use permut uh, they both use Motus. So I can go that path with Ordo. So there you go, super handy. So, okay, here we go. Water aspect there. And, okay, go back to Permutatio, so I have to go from water to Permutatio, so use a modus. Now, I want to know if I actually want to use the modus. Okay, yeah, I will use the modus. I'll be using the metallum as a filler again. So, here we go. Water to, um, hmm, what did I say again? Uh, no, not that. Okay, I could use that. That could be handy. I don't really have to use Gellum much. So maybe I will use Gellum as a filler there. And Ordo. And then go to Metallum. And back to Ordo, I think. No, back to Ordo. And finally, Motus. There you go. I'm pretty sure this uses Motus, and it does. As you can see, uh, after a while it gets really fun as well to be perfectly honest but initially when you don't actually know what the different aspects are made of uh, like when I hover over them you can see what the aspects are made of uh, I had to unlock that but once you do it's very simple so here we go water and modus and for the eider it was modus and the other thing so I'm going to use water because you know I have plenty of it but then I'll have to find something else that uses uh, water. So I could use the poison one, but I don't want to because I might need it later on. Um, Sanus, no. Uh, Victus, I don't have much of Earth, but because it's a primal aspect, I can get it anytime I want, so I might do that. Like that, okay. And what I'm going to do is go from Permutatio to uh, or I could go the other path maybe I will go the other path I'll put that there 
and I'll put that there just so I know what my end products are going to be. So I'm going to have to use Ordo there. Oh, this is perfect. Ordo, Metallum, and then Ordo again. And there you go. That's decanting. Just like that. Quite simple. Okay, uh, a last one. Here we go. Alchemy. This is what I wanted. Oh, but that's the handy bit. You can see that it's not, uh, you know, the one that you have to research. It's a hexagon one, so I can just click it. And there you go. I've unlocked it. And to make that, I need that, so that's fine. I think I'm going to do a really difficult one. I think I have to do it. Because there aren't any other ones that I would necessarily need. Um, Boots of the Traveler. Arcane Stone. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Uh, the thing that I was talking about, which was advanced note tapping. There we go. So, master note tapping, not just advanced. This is going to be very difficult and will take me some time. So, here we go. Just like that. And into there. Wow, this is actually surprisingly easy. I've had uh, some researches where it's just there, 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 there. Yes, I've had like six different aspects that I had to combine. This is fairly simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should I do a difficult one? I want to do a really difficult one on camera. So I know one that's going to be really difficult. It's any of the mod ones. So here we go. Node modifier. I don't actually need it, but... Okay, that only has three. But, you know, it's still very spaced out. Um, like I said, you can usually go to uh, Metallum and Ordo from any single one, or Metallum and Saxum. So, for example, as you can see, that uses Precantatio, and um, Precantatio uses uh, that, and that uses Ordo, hence using Metallum as a filler. I can do it very simply. And there you go, Census, that has Air and uh, the Spiritus. But once again, I can just use... Uh, Volatus as the filler and because it uses Modus and I know for a fact that Modus uses Ordo again using that as a filler so I think I'm just gonna do master note tapping more aspects so I'm gonna have to use uh, different ones and as you can see I can't go from there to there to there to there to there I have to go this way or that way so here we go now I have to select the ones that I think will be the easiest Okay, I could do this again. Uh, I could get another piece of paper and maybe I'll get an easier path, but I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, Aurum is quite rare to get, so it's better not to use that, or waste it rather. Uh, we can see that it uses air, and I know for a fact that uh, this uses air, so there you go, that's the path to take. Um, so air there, there. And I'm just going to make myself some modus. Ooh, I only have three Ordo left. This is going to be difficult. Let's see, I have three left, two left, one left. Okay. I don't want to waste the last one because, like I said, I can still put it out and, you know, onto different uh, research. And I won't run out, hopefully. So, Ordo. And from Ordo, maybe I should do Metallum instead. Yeah, definitely. Oh, sorry, not, not, not Metallum. I need to find a different filler. Uh, I don't want to use Volatus because, you know, I only have eight of that. And that uses Modus. And that's quite difficult to get because I keep running out of Ordo. Uh, the Ordo is one of the few that I have very little of. And the other one is Air. Okay, so from that to... I need something that uses Water. Okay, maybe I should use uh, Victus. Oh yeah, I should definitely use Victus. Oops, not there. Uh, okay, that was unfortunate. I need something that uses... Okay, Earth. So, Precantatio. Okay, not that. Modus, I'll, I have to use Modus, unfortunately. Uh, Modus there. Oh, wait, no. That uses Modus. That's quite unfortunate. As you can see, it's very easy to make the mistakes when you have a lot of different aspects. So now I have Modus, and I can't just do uh, Ordo again. Uh, so I'll have to find a different way. So maybe I should do. What else does it use? Water. Mm, this is difficult. 
I could do Ordo Metallum and then no okay I think I have it I'm going to use um, Ordo then I'm going to Metallum then I'm going to go to Saxum then I'm going to go to Victus and then to Water I know it's actually longer than if I just remove that but like I said I'm going to show you guys all the different alternatives that you can do and this is just one of them so uh, did I say I have to use Ordo? I think I definitely have to use Ordo Ordo there okay from Ordo to Metallum Metallum to Saxum to Saxum did I, do I have to use Saxum? yeah I do Saxum Saxum to Terra Oh, okay. Okay, um, one more time. Saxum. Saxum. Uh huh, the other thing. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. It's usually handy to have the end products there because you know what to aim to. So, what are there? So, I'm going to go from Metallum to Saxum, which I'm going to put there. And then Terra there. Then Victus there. Okay, there you go. Now, I know these actually easier ones I could have taken, but like I said, I want to show you guys uh, what alternatives that you can actually do. And this is going to be very handy when you have longer ones, and you know, you have to go from one to another. And now I have Permutatio to Modus. What I'm going to do for this. Okay. Now, what I should be able to do, I haven't tested this out, so I'm not 100% sure, is actually go from Terra or Saxum to Modus because if you remember last time I didn't actually use uh, I didn't actually go from one to another and then from that to that to that I just went from midway to that so let me actually see, see if I can do this not a hundred percent sure but here we go okay so I have to find a way to connect Ordo perfect I think I know what to do so what I'm going to do is get Metallum like that and I know for a fact that Metallum has Ordo, which I'm going to put there. And as you can see, I didn't use up that Ordo. If I use that to get a um, compound uh, aspect, I will use it up. But if I use it just to put on the research paper, I won't use it up. So here we go. From that, I can do Potentia there, and that connects those two. Now here's the deciding moment. Well, not the deciding moment, but deciding couple of aspects. Uh, modus there. So what I have to do is put Saxum, and then Metallum again. And then I'm pretty sure that, check one more time, that those two have Ordo, and that has Ordo as well. So here we go, the deciding moment. And there you go, it does work like that. So because I did this little squiggly thing here, it was actually easier. Well, not easier, but you know, it's as simple. And there you go. That's how you do the research. I think I've covered all of the different uh, ways you can use. So like I said, one more time, you don't have to go from uh, path A to path B directly, or rather from A to B to C to D to E. You can just go A to B and then use some aspect in the middle to go to that, that. You can just spider web around, as in you can just go from one to another and then use a branch to branch out to a different side, branch out to a different side, branch out to a different side. You don't have to go from one, two, two, four, five, six. So yeah, that is the research. I don't want to move the camera around because I don't want to give anything away. But there you go. Um, if you like the video, please leave a like or subscribe for more Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching, guys.